In the last five years, the average number of bullying incidents has remained steady. For every 1,000 students, there were an average of two incidents in primary schools and six incidents in secondary schools annually for any form of bullying, both within and outside of school. Of these incidents involving the use of technology, average less than one incident per 1,000 secondary school students and even fewer in primary schools each year. We are similarly concerned about the reporting, uh, not just of under-reporting, there can also be over-reporting of a different kind. Because as mentioned, this issue is a complex one. What people constitute as, bully as bullying also varies in interpretation across uh, different people. So we should be careful. Uh, there will be instances whereby some people may have encountered some bullying or unfortunate instances and where they think that they are able to manage it and they did not escalate the issue to the adults or the teachers. There will also be cases where people have experienced uncomfortable situations which may not exactly constitute as bullying, uh, but they will also raise this to their adults or parents and will take actions as necessary. The number of reported online is generally much lower than the offline, but as members noted, this could also be because people are less sensitised to what constitutes uh, online uh, bullying. So, for example, if a child feels that he or she has been excluded uh, from a group repeatedly, persistently, does that constitute a form of psychological bullying? Uh, then it has to be taken in context and then we have to look at the case carefully. So my own belief is that the online numbers will progressively rise because of the circumstances that our, were, our children are exposed to, but also because as people become more aware of what is happening, there will be more such reported instances. On the second point about neurodiversity, that's why we handle all cases sensitively. It's not a one-size-fits-all uh, method to handle things. Some children with uh, special needs may have inadvertently or, in or inadvertently caused harm to others and they may not know. And when we counsel them, we have to handle them with care because of their different needs. On the other hand, when students with special needs are bullied or made to feel uncomfortable, we will also have to make special efforts to counsel the perpetrators. The guidelines as to what constitutes bullying is the same, but the remediation measures will, be, will have to be taken in context, taking into account the <coughs> conditions and circumstances of both the victims and the perpetrators. We want to give people and students the confidence that if you are in doubt, where you feel troubled, you should be able to use the existing channels to report it to the adults and then have the adults work with the students to see how they can mend the relationships and move the relationship forward.